lads and ladettes, welcome to Gone Home. I am LDC. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and a great New Year, depending on what time you are watching this. This is my maiden voyage into Gone Home. I have never seen anybody play it. I don't know what's going on with it. I have absolutely no idea about anything that's happening in this game. So, before we start, thank you very much for choosing uh, this channel to watch Gone Home. I really appreciate that. Show any support you can. Second off, I'm going to be doing it very, very carefully. I love my story in games, so I'm going to allow them to speak. I'm going to inspect everything, so I don't know how long it's going to be. I've heard it's pretty short, but, you know, I've also heard that it is something special. So, I want to ask you to, to sit back, relax, and enjoy Gone Home. Let's start a new game. I'm very excited about this, though. So I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how this game turns out. I hope all the sound uh, issues are, are okay. Let's see how we begin. I presume it's still loading. Oh. Sorry, I had to move some stuff around. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. June 7th, 1995, 1.15am. Presumably that's the person who's just come home. And looking at it here, that's exactly what's happened. Okay, so, just while I'm here, I'm just going to pause and make sure my sound levels uh, are too good. Uh, or at least are good. I'm going to stick the subtitles on, all that kind of stuff. I'll see you literally in about a second. Okay, so I managed to sort it all out. I put some subtitles on and uh, turn the music down slightly. So... Um, okay, let's have a look over here. Uh, Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone with mum and dad crossed out to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Right, so I'm Katie, which is nice. Um, oh, there, Caitlin Greenbrier. Uh, destination Portland, flight number 270, date June the 6th, 1995. Okay, just very, very quickly. Um, just turning the sound down, the mouse sensitivity down. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm just, a couple of things have been uh, making the things, voices known, is how I pretty much write. So, left click is open stuff. Oh, we can crouch. That's interesting. And we can go... Oh! Right mouse or left shift, shift to examine the object. Oh, what's that? How, do, how can I see this? Can I see it? $5.99. Yeah, I'll put that down there. And grab the key. Okay. Press 1... Or I to check the contents of the backpack. Ah, right, okay, this is interesting. So we've got our passport, which is there, Caitlin Greenbrier. We've got our boarding pass. So we went from Amsterdam, I presume we've been doing some travelling. And we've got the house key. I presume it's the spare key to the house, which isn't exactly the... Is it very strange that they have a door and a porch area? Oh, wow. Is that window open? Okay, and we can open the door, I presume we can just leave our stuff there, and we're in the house, okay, so nobody's here, nobody will be here right now because they said so, what the heck is that, so this is going to be very much a slow kind of build to, to something really, um, it's just how I, what the hell is that? Oh, can we pull this out? Oh, okay. 
Read note. Okay, so I'm just explaining. I'm going to be trying to see everything, working out what's going on. I don't even know where this is going to go. So directions to work from New House. Left on Grabtree. Right on Bullhorn. Exit onto 47th North. Uh, right onto 202 East, entrance on right past the past Wage Road. So there is where we are. Travel time, an hour and ten minutes. <laughs> so I'll open the other drawer. But we don't seem to have anything there. It's just, just bric-a-brac and all that kind of stuff. My mouse is very sensitive, so apologies. Uh, we've got a folder here. Let's have a read of the invoice. Okay, so Wellspring Movers Incorporated. I presume this is our address. Oh no, Dry Creek Road is our address. So this is this is obviously we've moved into a new house. Interesting. Kitchen, master bed, uh, boxes, library, overweight, two TVs. Um. Okay. Dear Katie. Oh. So much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Okay, so she's made a journal for us. And we've got a Hecho in Mexico. Um, I'll pop that back there. Pick up one of the, the my trophies. So that is that is us. Yeah, that's us. And we got a real air race. That's pretty cool, actually. What's this one? Long jumper. Okay, so we're a bit of a sports fan. Wow, that storm is really big. I think I saw something in here. I just didn't want to interrupt it. So let's have a look. Goodfellow High School. Let's just have a look there. Janice Greenbrier, senior conservationist. So that looks like mum. That looks like mum. So I'll leave it at that for now. Is that the same door? It is. Sorry, my mouse is so... I'm going to just change it again. I don't really know. It should be in control, shouldn't it? Just move it right down, because... I don't know. It's not the, the nicest thing. I like uh, PC controls, don't get me wrong, but... I'm not really too keen. I'm going to put the lights on in everywhere I go because it's, well, it makes a really unnerving noise. So just some towels in there. We've got a magazine, author magazine, Stephen King. Um, so it's just freelancing tips and tricks from the pros. Get published, The Secret. Okay. Interesting. What are they? Quick fix. They're just band-aids. saying that in the American fashion anyway. Flushing the toilet, which is hygienic. Can we use the taps? I presume we can. Oh, we can. Very cool. Well, I'm not going to waste that. Leaving the lights on, because this house is goddamn creepy. It's goddamn creepy. Let's have a look in here. Oh, oh. Itinerary. The worldwide timetable, effective June 1st, 1994. And there's a love heart at the end. Wow, Katie's departure. 94, flight 881. 12.10 to Amsterdam, so she's going from Cincinnati all the way to Amsterdam. Cool. Um, oh, there's another note. Let's have a read of this. Sam. Daniel from the old neighbourhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mum, Dan is a total weirdo. Wow, okay. The only reason I um, ever hang out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Good man. Okay, we've got some messages now, which I... Uh, I will definitely play. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest. So and this is how we night. started. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. 
Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. So that's the end. I presume that's the end. The signal's out on the phone, which is interesting. So Sam, Katie, Mum, Dad. So the person on the phone who was crying was calling out for Sam, who I presume is her? I presume that's what's going on. Um, now we just have to work out which way we want to go. I say this way first. We'll head over this way and see what's there. Uh... Oh, wow. That's not scary at all. The location in the house. Interesting. This is a big house. Everything's always with the light off. Uh, welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the string of things. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing out of the ordinary there. A positive attitude at the bottom, everything that's crossed off. So, please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before. Be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon and again. Welcome. And that's Beth Valance, who is the principal of Goodfellow High School. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. What does it mean by the psycho? So, picture is Oscar Mason, 16 of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September the 8th, 1933, in a house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone Country, uh, Boone County, to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the centre of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terence Greenbrier, as well as in the spirit of people of Boone County, to whom he provides wellness and comfort. That's interesting, because that is our dad. In the previous, in the previous thing, it was, it was a dad. It was Terry, wasn't it? He was the dad. Let's just have a look here. Am I right? Yeah, see? Terry. So their dad died. This is the dad's house. Okay. Wow, that is dark in there. Lots of books. Atonement. <laughs> nice attention to detail, though, so far. I'm, I'm really digging it. There is something there. Look at this bottle. Hanrahan Irish Whiskey. And if you like your drink, you'll know that whiskey from Ireland has to be put with an EY. And everywhere else, it's just Y. There you go. Handcrafted and bottled by Suke's Kelly Maiden Island. Um, women should not drink alcohol during pregnancy. I don't think this is going to have... Oh, sorry. Any kind of hint on what's going on, really. Boone County. So we are in Boone County. That makes kind of total sense, really. Examine form, right. So the Pacific Insurance Masters. Electrical inspection form. Terrence Greenback, who is dad. One Arbor Hill, which I think is where we live now. Uh, does it meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies which need correcting? Unclear. If yes, describe in detail. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amp amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring that have been added to structure over the last hundred years. System is frequently un unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames. Disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls. And Floor fixtures of the structure. I have a discussion with Mr. Green by since there are no current safety concerns. Issues will not be addressed. Um, company name Black Cat Electrical. Harold Price Jr. Cool signature. Bro. Thank you. Okay. There's like loads of little noises that keep happening. I hate it. It's making me feel really unnerved. Into the, oh, we don't have the combination yet. No, 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 no. Um, 
Back to basic sent back in time to Dallas 1963 again. That could be the code. What are these? Into killed in Marines. You can do better. What if JK wasn't JFK? Um, coalition, coalition, coalition. I think 1963 could be the code for this. Should we try it? You never know. Nope. Okay. Well, that 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 was going to be a, a long shot, really. You never know. Are all these openable? Oh my god. Oh wow. Three ring binder. That's okay. There is something in it. Can we open it? <laughs> nope. Okay. I'll just put that back. There's nothing I can get in this one either. Are you guys enjoying it so far? Please don't any, leave any spoilers in the comments either. I'd really appreciate that because. People who haven't played it, they might want to, you know, watch me get it myself. And I always look at all my comments as well. So, Pioneer CLD combination laser disc, blah 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 blah. A thousand dollars. They say that the jack of all trades is the master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, you'd be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular, this particular. Okay. I don't know what's going on there, but it's just the way it goes. What is on the chair? Grab the book. Let's have a look. Benjamin Almond, The Killing of JFK, A Theory. You've seen the movie Discover the Truth. The movie's very good. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. Don't know any of those names. I'll just pop it back down on the, uh, on the floor. Okay. Well, that looks like it can be picked up. Nope. Okay. What is this house all about, man? God! As a teenage drag queen, fresh readers of tells about their worst moments. 90210, does anybody still care? Very cool. The male gaze had it. So that's a 95, May 95, interesting. I kind of wish I could pick on the. Uh, grab the coaster? What the hell will that help me with? Is that a two leaf clover? So, so far, not much has happened. It's kind of learning a little bit of, of backstory. Um, oh, this mouse man is really pissing me off. Dad's second, but oh, look what's that? The accidental pariah, Terence Greenbrier. A message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. James Bond for today's audience, Casey Dewitt. I wonder if that has any relation to Booker from Bioshock. Oh, thriller worth its salt. So, he does books surrounding the JFK murder, by the looks of things. And by the... L gosh, da there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Ladies in the ring, the women of wrestling. I'm a big wrestling fan, if you didn't know. Gosh, dad, that's fantastic. Nice touch, very nice. I'm just going to leave all those there. Because... Then I know that I've been in the room. However, if it's got lights on, I'll probably know anyway. What's that? A Stranger Under My Roof. The best-selling advice book for parents of teens. Okay, wow, okay. Teen years are fraught with change of all types. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. But these changes don't affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you've yet faced since having children. This book holds insight into your teen's behaviour from the very beginning, as he or she first enters adolescence, up to the end of the teen years, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to leave you there, because I don't think you're that important to me. Zero. <laughs> November the 1st, 1994. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder. To weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theatre Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations in your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age would take half your raid to write stuff I could actually use. But Davey's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. And that was from Brent Kirkwood, the reviews editor from the, the Home Theatre Aficionado magazine. Interesting. So 0451 
looks to be where we need to open that cabinet by the looks of things. These doors are really thick. 0451. At least I hope that was it. Yeah, okay, so. Mr. Mason from Kublik and Wise, the attorney law. Please find and close your original documents and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Jeffrey Wise. I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory after full survey of value items to my name, do hereby decline, declare that this document will be my last will and testament. He's a lifelong resident of Boone County. I am unmarried and have no children. I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors living or dead. I bequeath every item of value of which I may die, possessed, including at the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and money accounts, to my nephew. Ah, Terence L. Greenbrier. So it's his nephew, interesting. In the event that said Terence L. Greenbrier Jr. should predecease me, then and in such event the bequest to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will this day, 13th of August 1973, signed Oscar Mason. And that is the handwritten copy, which I can't read. Not easy to get to. So that storm is still raging outside. Let's head on down to the next room, eh? Oh, wow, okay. So the, the storm is making local news, interesting. Making friends, Sam thought this might help Dad, Philip Ackerman. Look at that, it's like the cast of Saved by the Bell. Or even the starting credits. Feeling lonely, it's peace to my friend. There we again about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay. Street Fighter. Interesting. Anywho, I'm going to probably call it here. The, the X-Files is a great show. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yeah, there's some, there's some really good... Boy Meets World, blimey. This is strange. Uh, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. We're going to continue Gone Home uh, in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave any support that you can. And Lanza Ledez, as always, I'll see you next time.